So Revumenib is a menin inhibitor. Um, menin inhibitors are a new class of targeted therapy in acute leukemias, and they work by disrupting two proteins that are critical for leukemia development, specifically in KMT2A rearranged leukemias or MPM1 mutant acute leukemias, and probably some other subtypes that we're not discussing in these abstracts. So Revumenib is a pill, and in this trial, we've given it uh, twice a day, continuously, uh, and we checked in this phase one study what would be the recommended phase two dose and evaluated safety. So we found that this drug, in general, is well tolerated. There were minimal side effects. The main uh, dose-limiting toxicity or side effect was prolongation of the QT interval, uh, which was manageable. Patients had no other complications related to it. And importantly, we've seen impressive responses. Uh, so we saw an overall response rate of 53% and a complete remission, complete remission with partial hematologic recovery of 30% and 78% MRD negative rate. So to give you perspective in these patients in general chances of responding are less than 10 percent uh, and MRD and I'm talking about fourth line setting and KMT to AD range AML uh, and this drug has been tested in infants children adults up to age 78 from age 10 month uh, so it's a promising new addition to to therapy and leukemia um, so that would be abstract number one I'm also doing a second abstract on uh, the outcomes of those patients that got a hematopoietic stem cell transplant and consolidation. So because these uh, leukemias are um, really difficult to treat, we, we are nervous even when we have responses to rely on single agent medications. So we've preferred these patients for a stem cell transplant. And in this second as abstract, I show that, uh, or along with my co-investigators, we show that uh, duration of response is, is is durable. The majority of these patients are still in remission. Uh, and I talk about some of the experience in using this drug after transplant and setting up the stage for future studies where we're going to see what would be the potential side effects of this medication post-transplant.